It is a quiet evening for us and we'll continue to see quiet conditions overnight, but some rain is going to return tomorrow and then we're going to get a little bit cooler for your Monday with more rain chances and another cold front arriving through the middle part of the week. So you can see all the activity right now to our north. This is the cold front that's going to be pushing toward the south in the morning and that's where we will see that chance for rain. Again, all of the severe warnings right now, several tornado warnings in Arkansas and up toward Mississippi. So for tonight, Tonight, that's where that severe weather threat is. Once we get into Sunday, it shifts off toward the east. And do note that lowest risk for severe weather does include parts of southwest Mississippi. And even though southeast Louisiana is not in that risk, I'd still be watching out for the potential for a strong storm, at least with some lightning possible once this moves through. So that timing on the front's arrival through the night again, it's going to be pretty quiet. We'll see some coastal fog and it could be pretty dense. As we get into the morning, a few showers start on the North Shore as we get toward the 8 to 11 o'clock time period. That's going to be your best shot for that rain and storm potential for the North Shore into Pearl River County. It pushes into the South Shore by 11 o'clock through about one or two. That's where you could have some gusty winds and some frequent lightning that will continue to push down toward the coast as we get into two o'clock. And so notice we start to dry out on the North Shore by Sunday afternoon. So you've got this three, four hour window that you're going to see the best chance for rain. And then once the front pushes through, we're all going to dry out. So I think we're going to spend more hours dry on Sunday than we are going to be seeing rainfall, but just be prepared for that passing rain through the morning and early afternoon. That front is going to lift back toward the north as a warm front, and so it is going to keep some rainfall potential as we get into the start of the week. You see those showers down toward the coast, and we'll see more rain lifting further inland as we go through Monday. And then into Tuesday and Wednesday, you see more scattered showers. This is five o'clock Tuesday evening and then into Wednesday. Our next cold front's going to come through. So some showers and thunderstorms once again, but we're going to welcome April on a dry note. Thursday looking nice and dry. It's going to be cooler with some sunshine as well. Rainfall totals through Monday morning are going to be on the light side. It's less than a half of an inch, but we're going to continue to accumulate as we'll have rain chances through Wednesday, but this is very manageable. It's not like the rainfall we had last week, so we're looking at under two inches for most locations from now until Thursday morning. But again, we're going to see that daily rain chance Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and even into Wednesday, and then temperatures will drop behind the front on Monday. Highs only in the 60s, mornings in the 50s. We'll get warm again Tuesday and Wednesday, and then things will cool off for us once again. If you're still suffering from your allergies, well, we still are seeing the moderate to high category for trees, weeds, grass and mold spores. That rainfall didn't help us out too much. And so maybe this round of rainfall will be different. Kind of give us a little bit of a break and we'll get a break from the heat too. The high was 85. The record was 87 set set just last year. So we're normally very warm for the end of March. Apparently as you see high temperatures mainly in the 80s today. Biloxi only getting up to 79. As you see temperatures right now, it is warm and humid. Those mid to upper 70s. So be aware of the potential for rain, possibly isolated storm going into next week. You see those temperatures back in the 70s, but then it gets much cooler Thursday and Friday. Hey, you may need a jacket Friday morning.